Hey everybody, Clown here, reviewing the last night action figure, which I should kind of say action figures, because he comes with a little lantern. Here's a screenshot, if anyone wants to take some. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that on camera. Uh, but there you go, screenshot if you want it. This would be interesting if this was a lantern core. It's like you have to put the head of your worst enemy that stays alive inside of a lantern and that's how you get your ring. That would be an interesting like warrior lantern core. Copyright. Just kidding, of course. DC can use it if they want. They just better pay me first. <laughs> just kidding, it's their property. All right, let's go over the figures. He comes with this baton. Whack, whack. Mind you, I know nothing about this, so don't get angry at me if I uh, if I don't understand what is happening here. I just need this to come out of his hand. So, don't know why he has this guy with him, but let's go over his articulation first, which he actually didn't have any. Um, but I guess, I mean, can you take this off? And technically, it, this could actually probably, if you were to remove this and this and maybe drill a hole in the bottom of this, you'd probably actually attach that to a, a body custom body and you could probably make like a robotic joker in fact I actually might buy another one of these to do that note to self let's snap these back on so alright putting him over here um, if you wanted Batman Batman screenshot and you want him like a cool um, Batman pose It's hard to get figures to stand up in general, but there you go. Well, uh, anyway, so he comes with a baton. So basically, for example, he's fighting, oh, sorry, he's fighting crime and he bops him on the head. They go to sleep, they go to night. I don't understand why he's in a stray jacket outfit. In fact, I haven't read the comments, so maybe when I get, uh, the comments enabled. I can get some explanation. Here is his trading card. Read that. You can pause. Read that if you like. Um, and I don't know if this is like an alternate reality. But sorry. But yeah, it's it's interesting. I'll say that. Now let's go over articulation. So his head. He can go down and he can kind of smother himself with his collar thing he has here. Not a lot of up. He has a little bit. He has some kind of. I mean, you can, you can if you really force it, you can spin his head all the way around. Woo! His head has some actually some good movement. Oh yeah. Anyway, his arm. I didn't notice that his arms are kind of loose. In like a loosey-goosey way. They go all the way up here. Um, he has double-jointed elbows. Which means he can reach way, way, way back. And scratch his back. Oh yeah, it feels good. Uh, <laughs> his arm can articulate. Like this. He can like a little swivel, I guess. Um, his body can move. Woo. But if you actually pull it up enough, moving mistake. Uh, his legs articulate pretty well. Pretty groovy. His legs have a double joint, which means he can reach all the way back here and scratch his butt with his foot. If he feels like he ever kicked himself. Um, besides that, some pretty good foot articulation. He also has some pretty good hand articulation. 
Um, spin all the way around. Wee. And yeah, this fits in his hand pretty good. This fits in his hand pretty good. It's kind of hard to get out, but it's been pretty cool. Uh, me personally, I'm actually gonna, if I'm ever able to get another one of these, we probably hopefully can make a custom figure. You know, all you gotta do is just snip off these old plastic pieces and then just take these and do something with them. Uh, but, um, me personally, when I get the Batmo Beast, which hopefully I get in a recent amount of time, I will probably be putting him on the front, because you know they have like that little, uh, I guess you could call him a hood buddy. <laughs> hood buddy. It's weird, but. You know, like sometimes they'll have a little dog on the front of their truck and whatnot. I'll probably put him on there, like this, just stuck looking. Maybe he'll have like a chain holding him. I'm also going to put a whole bunch of other Jokers in the, my Batmo Beast. Like Joker Bot. Because uh, you can fit like, what, 22 figures? Got that from, uh, from Before Figs. Go check him out. Great channel. Really inspired me to make this. Actually, kind of talked to him once, but it's nothing. Still want a warrior cor corp. Here's another screenshot photo take you can take of him. Another one if you like. So, yeah, pretty good figure. I have no problems with this. I'm going to give it a 10. And. Yeah, that is about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and laugh a little bit. God bless.